If you've seen the launch trailer in any coverage, you know that Life by You is marketing itself as one of the most customizable and flexible simulation games yet. But when it comes to the character creator, new details, and a look at the character creator from another Paradox game signal that this game isn't just going to be customizable, but actually is going to have some dimension for the AI and some real personality. So here are the exciting new details and why this news makes me a little bit more hopeful for Life by You. We're going to start with this new interview with Humble and this really gets into the dynamics of the character creator and why there is more than meets the eye. Humble wants to make sure that Life by You meets the expectations in all player types, explaining almost in passing that's why the Paradox team set out to create a world-class character creator. It's a pretty bold claim so they asked Humble what they meant and it was all focused on flexibility. He notes that the character creator in Life by You doesn't just allow players to alter the physicality of their character but also their emotional and philosophical outlook on life. I remember seeing the very first character creators we made and even though it was all very basic back then, gave us the ability to see someone's entire life history and all their relationships. We could have seen a turbulent childhood or what they had for breakfast yesterday. Agents in the game can then spread that information so all the systems are in service of the stories players create. So a lot to unpack even on this first segment here. First of all, we hear emotional and philosophical outlook, which I do think that sounds very interesting, but also it sounds like they're going to have a memory system, a relationship system, and it does sound like that memory system can include things that actually impact them, such as a turbulent childhood. Now again, we don't know how this is all going to play out, but I do think these details are very promising, and notice they call the character creator when it first started off as basic, but even in its most basic form, they were already working with these dynamic systems. Now, I know that a lot of people want the graphics to improve and the team has talked about graphic changes. Definitely check out my last video if you've never seen it. But in short, I'm actually kind of feeling pretty good that it sounds like they focus first and foremost on the core systems. He calls the metaphysical part of the character creator and says that the team worked tirelessly to ensure it hit the mark. We wanted to go the extra mile so you can have your history, what type of child you're growing up to. You have your demeanors. So an agent might be messy or dramatic or cultured or fickle. These have teeth and these traits have a full editor, but players can also make their own new traits. Pulling that Fred Humble explains how the designers made the tidy trait. After creating the category, they rifle through a bunch of in-game interactions and tag them so that when undertaken by a tidy agent, it would feel more fulfilled or increase a skill. Conversely, that means that a lazy agent takes the same action, they might feel miserable. All of a sudden, we've now got gameplay for a whole bunch of characters characters and players who maybe didn't realize those actions would have an impact. Now, of course, these are just words we have to see in action. It sounds like they're focusing on traits actually having an impact. A lot of people, myself included, were a little concerned on how much focus there is on customization. But even though you can make new traits, it sounds like the traits that are currently in game are programmed to be impactful. To that end, Hummel suggests Life by You will raise the bar by letting players change about every aspect if they want to of their character. This includes height sliders. Height was a big one for us, but the reason in most life simulators everybody's exactly the same height is because you use objects. So if you've got people of different heights, you've got to account for someone sitting on that chair at a different height. It gets really difficult to get everything working correctly. So the fact that our character creator lets our players change the length of the arms, the size of the hands, their height, and have all that work with 3D objects was our goal. What's more, all the these 3D objects, you can click on any of them and change the script. For instance, Humble notes that players might take a toilet script and apply it to a bush, so their agent can now go to the toilet in a bush. I don't know how easy it is going to be to use. You can really change how objects are used if you want to, but it's optional. Alternatively, they could go into that script or any script and create an entirely new gameplay beat. I might say this bush, this bush is an inspirational bush, so when you're near it, you can gain inspiration to make landscape art. That's what I mean by world-class character creator. It's the ability not only to customize your character, but also tell stories. Now, I know a lot of us are wary about the term telling stories. Sims has used it many times, but it does seem like Paradox is using it in a slightly different way. And to add to all this and what 
I think is a very promising interview, I do want to go to another Paradox game. This is Crusader Kings. Now to be clear, this is not made in the same studio, but it is still made by Paradox, and I do think it kind of showcases the focus on character depth and dimension. So Crusader Kings has this ability through the roller designer to create your own characters. You can choose your character name, their sex and sexual orientation, faith and culture, dynasty and realm, age and weight, traits, skills, family, appearance, and DNA. Now to be clear, I don't actually expect there's going to be a faith system in Life by You, but this does show that this goes beyond the typical basic character creator. Along with Age and Crusader Kings, you can fiddle with pretty much every other gameplay trait you've always wanted your characters to earn or inherit. These include education modifiers, personality traits, and of course there are also skills in Crusader Kings that represent a character's expertise across various fields and together with traits, determine how good or bad a character is at a given task. They even have a mental health system in Crusader Kings. So stress is a measure of a character's mental health and is gained whenever a character responds to an event or a decision in a way that conflicts with their personality type. So when they love dies or their character is imprisoned or tortured. Now I don't expect of course we're getting at imprisonment or torture in Life by You, but the idea of this basic mental health system not fully going into actually mental illness, but showing that stress has an impact on character health and also the idea of consequences with acting out against your personality traits. I could see some people not liking that, but I do think it's pretty interesting from a psychological point of view. So I think there's a lot of promise for Life by You for it to be a really detailed game. And while I do think Life by You emphasizes a lot on modding, customization, and I think that's great in one end, I'm actually getting more hopeful that it also will be able to stand on its own. And the fact that they already have a system that does consider things like backstory, personality, and how the humans behave, I think is really important for the foundation of a game. Of course, as a caveat, we don't know how this is all going to play out, but for now, I'm cautiously optimistic. So let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Are you more or less excited for Life by You? And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like and a share. It helps my channel out so much. Thanks as always for spending your time with me, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.